Welcome back to Weapons Only. Now, uh, today, we are taking on the Abyss, because the Abyss has only two days left in the current rotation. Now, am I going to 36 star this rotation? N no, not at all. Not even a chance. But, we have Blue Hair Boy here, you know, maybe the strongest character in the game available to us now. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna see how far we get today. Uh, just in case you're new to weapons only, it's an account where basically we don't wish, in, instead of wishing the character banners like a sane person, we only wish in weapon banner. Yes, that's as smart as it sounds. Anyhow, in between this episode and last episode, I leveled up Xing Shou, I farmed for his drops, farmed for Kuki Shinobu's drops, got her leveled up. Uh, I think she's at level 50 right now, but I have enough drops to get her to level 70. Uh, Xing Shou is the same situation. I actually will go and farm some uh, silk flowers here shortly to get him leveled up. Uh, and we're going to use him in Abyss. Kuki, we're not going to use in Abyss quite yet. Uh, probably not until she's level 70, I think. But yes, we uh, we got him leveled up. And uh, on stream, I also farmed a little bit of Emblem so I could level up some artifacts for him. His crit stats are very sad. Yes, I know. But hey, he has enough energy recharge. He's completely functional. He's on a fab sword. Um, other than that, I really didn't do anything last week. It was a very boring week, honestly. I had to spend, uh, like two days worth of resin on farming ley lines because I ran out of more. That's just the free-to-play life, I think, in Genshin Impact, so oh well. Anyhow, let's go and uh, let's go and farm or, or grab some flowers for Xingqiu, get him leveled up, and then we'll mosey on to Abyss. Now, just in case you're sad that I did not do an edited video for, you know, farming a little bit for Xingqiu and Kuki, you didn't miss much, I promise, but I did have some of it on my live streams in the last weekend. So, you can go look at the live streams if you really, really want to see me fight the uh, ocean in it or something. I don't know. It really it wasn't that exciting. Which, you know, maybe I shouldn't say it's not exciting because that's not exactly a good way to sell my live streams to you. No, my live streams are. My live streams are the most exciting things ever. We definitely didn't just spend an hour or two leveling up emblem artifacts and getting mostly copium pieces. No, 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 no. It was the most exciting stream you ever could imagine. We also spent an hour farming for rocks. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink. And yoink, yoink. Perfect. Ascension time. Blam. There we go. Got Shinsho's last passive unlocked. That passive, I believe, just uh, gives him bonus hydro damage, which, you know, increasing his damage is good. Um, I might level him up a little bit, but let's see first. What uh, what can we get for this? Uh, oh, good. I still have these left. All right, get that to level five. And I might be able to get it. I probably have enough masks. I, I hope I have enough masks. So let's go see if I have enough of those and I'll level that up too. Level is skill up a little bit as well. The skill doesn't do a ton of damage, but it does a little bit of damage, so, you know. Um, we might have enough to get it to level 4 at least, I think. Oh, we also got to AR 50. Um, so we can do, you know, ascensions for weapons to get them to 90 now, but I have not ascended any to 90, and I'm going to wait a bit before I ascend any to 90 because I have a Mora issue. You can see I only have 1.2 million Mora, and I have other things I want to focus on before we level up weapons to 90. Uh, or they got like uh, Staff of Scarlet Sands to level 90. Gotta focus on like getting some more proper teams built. Alright, there we go. Stained Mass. We have uh, a, a lot that we can make. Alright, just craft like uh, 74 of them. Good enough. Alright, Talents. Level this up to level 6. Perfect. Make sure you do at least a little bit of damage and we'll level up the skill as well. The skill does a not insignificant amount of, amount of damage because it's got a pretty high multiplier, so and it reduces the damage we take, so it's worth leveling up at least to level six. Do we have enough today to do that? Probably not. I don't think I have any more of these, but I'll double check. Uh, correction, I actually think I might have enough. Wow, that's lucky. Well, got lucky. I do actually have enough. Sweet. Level that to six as well. Perfect. Xing Shou is probably going to stay at level 6 and 6 for quite some time. <laughs> I'll level up to the, to 70 because, the, the, honestly, he's going to stay at 70 for a while. The things that are important about Xing Chou are all unlocked when he's at level 70. Obviously, leveling him more in the future can increase his damage slightly, and in particular in being able to level up his talent, so we will take him to like level 80 eventually. But for now, after this, you know, I... 
don't have the resources to spend on leveling him to 80 right away like Heroes Wits. I'd rather spend my Heroes Wits and Mora and other resources getting Kuki leveled up so I can have, you know, a less painful Hyper Bloom team going, basically. But Shingcho was the more directly useful character to get leveled up. So he's useful now. We got him done. Let's go on to the Abyss. All right, my plan here for the Abyss is we're going to do a Kaya Melt team on one side, and then a, uh, I guess we'll do Animal Traveler for the fourth slot, uh, and then our Hyper Bloom team on the second side, and this time, though, with Shingcho to help out, so this means we can have Lisa on field more. It should help with keeping Lisa's burst up, uh, because we'll get more fab triggers for her on field, and, you know, have more Hydro application, get more core generation. I think it'll work pretty well. I'm going to put Chung Yun in here for the fourth slot on the second half, just so that uh, we can get some freeze going. I think it'll be nice to have. Let's go. First damage, sure. As you can probably see, I do not have enough ER on Shungling. I think Shungling has 180 ER, which is yeah, just just not enough. I can try to funnel energy to Shungling to help it a little bit, but it doesn't really fix the issue. Burst up for the next chamber. Perfect. That was pretty slow. Um, <laughs> slow enough that I don't know what our chances of. My, my goal today would be 9 star on floor 9 and floor 10, and then maybe we'll see if we can clear floor 11. I don't think we'll clear the 9 star on floor 11, but maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. There we go. The Abyss Blessing is helping us out a little bit, but that was not too bad. You know, if, if we had enough ER to properly uh, do consistent rotations uh, without having to fill out and just do random things to fill out downtime on the, on our Mount Kaya team, I honestly think we might have like solidly cleared that without any struggle. guys off how are you not getting grabbed off did it really get stuck against the freaking thing oh my god oh my god f off with your shield butthole oh good more shields at least this one I can burn off How are you not dead, you freaking butthole? Just do it over here. Good lord. Oh wait, really? Okay, you need to die. You need to die. Yo, let me switch. I I swear to you, I switched to Chung Yun and then press Q on Chung Yun. Where? The slimes, get out of the freaking air. Great. 
Really? No, my God. Oh my God, the slowing water, man. Oh, slowing water. Can't do anything because slowing water. Yay. Yeah, Mahoyo. I'm going to simulate a Mahoyo employee. How do we make it so the character's abilities can't be used? That's how we make a difficult combat challenge. Disable players from being able to use their abilities. Good game design, Mahoyo. Hey, energy recharge card. Thank you, game. <laughs> Definitely need that. Really? It's freaking mushroom. Just bay bladed past me. Freaking butthole. And this one won't move. Get out of the air. How did you not get grabbed? Oh my god. Good lord. Alright, got one minute to clear on Hyper Bloom. You, you do it. Really? Oh, easy. Super easy. Wow. Not even a challenge. We got Lisa's burst up. We can on feel Yao Yao in her burst. It just works works really well. Alright then. Uh, next one. Uh, oh, this cha this this last chamber of floor 10 is going to be a pain in the butt. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, I think I don't really think I have a choice though. Because I think Hyper Bloom, the Hyper Bloom team can deal with more enemies faster, I think. Oh boy. Okay, Hyper Bloom burst death. It's fine. Sprinting damage bonus. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Let me use my abilities. Gotta have to normal attack. Oh, I did that terribly. Bro, can you like not stay five miles away from me? You freaking buttholes. Oh, we're just gonna slowly kill this one. Oh my god, I just effed up. So I, I didn't kill, I can't believe I had to restart that. I, oh, that melt team. I mean, was that melt team probably wants Chung Yoon. So that I can at least normal attack for cryo damage with Kaya, but like... It's also a problem of Shangling having no energy, and Bennett also doesn't have enough energy, and Kaya even doesn't have enough energy, because they're like, oh my god, like... Love energy recharge impact. Love energy recharge impact. Especially early game. Why is there a dude over there still alive? These freaking mushrooms, man. I hate that they just sit in five miles across the freaking screen everywhere from each other. I'm I'm switching my teams over because I want... The Animal Travelers grouping is garbage, but at least they can group the freaking mushrooms. Good, I managed to grab all of them. Alright, that was less painful. <laughs> Do I sound dead inside? I'm on floor 10 and somehow the abyss has already made me regret everything. It's just the abyss for you, I suppose. Don't push me, freaking buttholes. Oh my god, stop. Yo, let me hit blooms. Oh my god, these enemies' hitboxes are so whack it does not trigger the blooms correctly. Fork, 
Oh my god, stop pushing me around, you actual buttholes. Really? Can you stop stealing my energy? Oh my god, I failed again. Oh my god. Ugh. Like, like, those freaking buttholes kept on CCing me so I couldn't freaking let auto attack with Lisa. Oh, I need Kooky leveled up. It just pisses me off. I feel like Mahoyo intentionally made Lisa just garbage with Hyperbloom. You know, they don't want people to have good free characters. Cool. Traveler's targeting is effing stupid. Mahoyo, stop doing auto targeting BS on your characters. Animal Traveler should just throw the tornado wherever my character is pointed. Like, really? Why does it auto target a random enemy that's behind me? It's not intuitive at all. It's dumb as crap. Please die. There we go. Finally. Oh god, that was such a pain in the butt. Um, yeah, that's. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was a pain. All right, um, that went cleanly the second time, or fourth time, sorry. It was not second time, <laughs> but it was a pain overall just because of the things interrupting me, and the, there's a, some mismatch, mismatch, mish? And there's some mismatch in, like, rotation timing even on the Hyper Bloom team, so it's just nothing's ideal, basically. <laughs> Okay, you no, know, I should have expected Traveler just immediately die there, but I did not expect it. Oh well. Really? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well. This is going well. Just dying immediately to Kairagi now. That's exactly what I hoped would happen. How is Shaolin at zero energy? Oh my good god. Oh my god, how- you buttholes, how are you getting knocked back from that? Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. Bro, stay still. Well, we have no energy, but we cleared it. Um... That's something. No. Don't die. Gotta calm down, dude. Oh, we got it. Okay, okay. That was not hard at all. Too bad. Uh, good. Whew, alright. Second chamber was not as bad as first chamber. I thought it was going to be harder, but it didn't take us too many tries to beat the Kyogre. Just had to have, have some decent dodges. And yay, more sprinting damage. Exactly what I need. Um, probably the third chamber here. We have less time, and I have no burst up. So... <laughs> I, uh... I don't know how we're going to do here. Oh, we can pick those up. All right. Interesting. Really? It is the end, you dumb traveler. Do you get picked up too? You do. Okay, good. What? A bubble killed me? Really, traveler? Can you, like... It's water. Have you ever touched a bubble in your life, you dumb? Mm. 
Don't die, Traveler. Oh my god. Really? Freaking bubbles, man. No. How did I not grab those? What? Really? Oh my god. Ah uh, yes, their design philosophy for Animal Traveler, the first character you get interested in the game, is for them to feel like trash to play. That's a great player experience. Really? He sniped Traveler to death. Mm-hmm. Really? I love Traveler's negative 20 interruption resistance. It's really great. Animal Traveler, 10 out of 10. Please give me a Sucrose game so I can just not have to deal with this trash character. How did you not get picked up? Oh my god, these freaking enemies. Why? Why? Animal Traveler just like sometimes picks them up, sometimes doesn't. Probably because like, oh, guess what? They probably have infinite interruption resistance when they're rushing towards you for reasons unknown. Making Animal Traveler even more useless. Thanks, Mahoyo. You are not welcome here. Nice See, he didn't get picked up for some reason. It's, it's so stupid. Uh, you know, I I give up. I give up. I we can't kill any of them quickly enough that it just makes it a pain in the butt. Um, I could try this with different teams. There, there's certainly some different teams I could do. I don't know. Give me new team ideas or something in the comments because I I, just, I want to be spared from this suffering. Uh, you can convince me to level up any of our. Any of our characters we don't have, or just use them in new ways. Obviously, the Hyper Bloom team would probably work better with Kuki. I know that. And, you know, but that wouldn't really help our Melt team at all. <laughs> what would help the Melt team is like a Sucrose and um, having more E on Shangling, having better artifacts for Shangling, having her talent leveled up more. Like, uh, yeah. Um, Floor 10 is just like trivialized once you just meet DPS thresholds where you can just kill things quick enough you don't have to worry about them. But that situation is really, really annoying when you don't have the DPS because three enemies that do wild swingy attacks that have huge AoEs that are that cannot be interrupted because Animal Traveler has a giant tornado that has the force of a little gust of wind. So, you know, um, anyways point is and then they're they're getting healed at the same time while I'm being sniped so I also want like hydro and cryo and I could use the hyper bloom team to try to deal with that on that side I'd probably be fine but then I'd have misery on the other side so you know what I give up it's fine we we're just giving up for now we will be successful later um I guess I'll claim our primo gems that was the main point of doing this was just to at least get you know 200 primo gems or so which I mean, we succeeded at that. I think, what did we get? We get, yeah, 150 and 100. That's 250 Prima Gems. That's something. I mean, uh, it's 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 better than nothing. Uh, we will be wishing on Miss Splitter when it comes. So, you know, look forward to that in, in about a week, I suppose. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed my suffering. Subscribe or whatever. I don't know. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.